Casio West is highly customizable, allowing you to tweak everything from the appearance to the workflow. Hello guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a few simple tweaks you can do after you have installed Cache OS on your computer, how to customize your desktop. So stay tuned and let's get started. Whether you want a minimalist setup, a macOS style dock or a Windows like layout, Cache OS lets you shape it to your liking. In this video, we're going to learn how to change themes and icons, customize the panel and dock, and install extensions and widgets. First, let's change the theme and icons to make the system look exactly how you want it. First, click on the Start menu or the Application Launcher. Second, go to the Settings. There is usually an icon for Settings at the bottom here, so you can click that as well. Then go to Appearance. Third, under Style, choose a new theme. If you prefer a dark theme, select Breeze Dark. If you like the light theme better, you can choose the Breeze theme. Just click on it and then click Apply. It will apply all the settings and you're gonna get a nice light theme. Or install Nordic for a clean look. That one looks pretty cool. As you can see, it's got like a blue trim to it. So yeah, it looks pretty nice if you like it. I prefer using Breeze Dark, so I'll change it back to the Breeze Dark. You can also change icons for a more modern look. Go to Icons tab in Appearance Settings and select a different icon pack. As you can see right now, it's Breeze Dark. You can select the regular one, Apply, and it's gonna have a different icons. Or you can change this one. The icons will be looking a bit different, as you can see at the bottom here. Everything has changed. That's a default look. One of the best icon themes is Papyrus. You can install it with this command. sudo space pacman space dash capital S space Papyrus dash icon dash theme. Press enter. Enter your password when prompted. Then press Y to proceed with installation and press enter and it will pull the icon pack from the repositories and install it on your cache OS system. Just wait until it's finished and then go back to the icons in system settings. So you're gonna get three different icon packs, the regular Papyrus, then there is also Papyrus Dark and Papyrus Light, whichever you like. If you're using the light theme, you probably want the light icon pack as well. If you're using the, let's say, Breeze Dark, you want to have the Papyrus Dark icons. I like the way it looks, looks very appealing, very nice, clean, but of course it all depends what you like. There is also a lot of other settings you can customize such as night light, application style, plasma style, window decorations, cursors, system sounds, splash screens and much more. We're not gonna cover everything, you can just explore it on your own and find the best settings that you like. But as you can see it is very customizable like almost any other Linux distros but the KD Plasma desktop environment takes it to the next level. Next, let's tweak the panel to match your workflow. Right click on the panel, click Show Panel Configurations. Move it to the top for macOS like layout, add and remove widgets and more. In the panel settings, click on the position and then press the up arrow and it's gonna place the panel at the top. Or if you want it on the left, you can do that. Or if you want it on the right, you can do that as well. See how customizable it is. That's amazing. But let's go ahead and put it at the bottom like regularly. I prefer having it at the bottom. Then you can also choose the alignment. You can center it. You can align it to the left or to the right. You can also change the width depending how you like it. You can fit the content, make it custom, whatever you prefer. Also, you can make it always visible, auto hide, dodge windows, or window go below. This is so crazy how many settings you can change. I usually like to keep it always visible because I like to know what windows are open and easily navigate to the necessary window. You can also change the opacity. You can make it adaptive, like it's set by default, or you can make it opaque or translucent, just the way you like it. And another cool feature style is the floating panel, which means it's gonna be like a floating island and you can just have it wherever you like to make it even more convenient. After you're done with tweaking your panel, simply click Exit Edit Mode 
and all the configurations will be saved. There is even more configurations you can configure if you right click on the panel and click configure icons only task manager. Here you can choose to show small window previews when hovering over task, hide other windows when hovering over previews, use audio indicators to mute tasks, fill free space on panel, and much more. If you go to the behavior, you can set up how the windows behave, also configure keyboard shortcuts, and much more. Of course, we're not gonna go through them all because this video is gonna be an hour long if I have to go through all these settings. If you simply right click on the desktop, you're gonna get to the context menu where you can quickly access desktop and wallpaper, also display configuration, and things like creating a new folder, new file, arranging icons on the desktop, and more. To add and remove widgets, you can simply right click on the panel and choose Add or Manage Widgets. There is quite a selection of different widgets, anywhere from clock to activity bar to Bluetooth, brightness controls, digital clock. Let's go ahead and try this one. You simply need to click and drag it on the desktop, then drop it wherever it allows you. It's pretty much similar like what you do on Android. And yeah. You can even change its size, as you can see, make it bigger, smaller. So it is very customizable. You can put the widget on the desktop wherever there's room on the screen. Let's see what else we can add for the widgets. Yeah, there is a ton. As you can see, there's calendar, dictionary, disk, folder view, input method, logout, and lockout, minimize all windows, battery saver, system tray, system monitor, and much more. And you can actually get new widgets if you click on this bottom at the top and you can get them from the plasma widgets and then you can either download new ones or you can just install them from the downloaded file if you have downloaded them previously just click download new plasma widgets or install widgets from local file let's go ahead and see what new widgets are available from the plasma widgets so yeah there are quite a few of them but as you can see this warning at the top, use caution when accessing user created content shown here as it may contain executable code that hasn't been tested by KDE or your distributor for safety, stability or quality. So yeah, you're basically taking the risk from installing this widget, whoever uploaded it, it may not be fully tested. As you can see, there's rating for each one. So you should probably pick the one that has the best rating and just keep the one that don't. So KDE Plasma is easily one of the most customizable desktop environments out there and you can customize pretty much every little thing. So I encourage you to go ahead and explore it on your own and let me know how you like it and what you like most about this KDE Plasma and about Cache OS. That will be very interesting to know. But this is it for today. I hope you find this video helpful. If you like it, please support with a like. If you're first time to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. Also, if you like what I'm doing and would like to support my channel, you can use super thanks or simply buy me a coffee. I appreciate it very much. All the links going to be in the description. But this is it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.